Welcome to Everything Life and Real Estate. Let's get started with our hosts, Linda McKissick and Dana Gentry. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Everything Life and Real Estate. I'm Linda McKissick. And I'm Dana Gentry. Hey, Dana. I am super excited. Happy 2024 again. We just... uh, we just jumped into it, didn't we? And in our last episode, we talked about um, our goals from last year. What did we do? What did we not do? What do we? What would help us make sure we achieve our goals this year? And yep. one of the things that I said was, I realized that I need to give my goals to another person. Two things, yep. have them visual, use your template, have them be visual. Number two, give them to another person to hold me accountable. Um Maybe I'll give her an award. Maybe it wouldn't. Maybe it wouldn't be a penalty. That would be a bad idea. I think I said in the last episode that I would not give her a Christmas bonus, but I think that's a bad idea. So what if I'll Michelle do, is listening to this, she's like, "Oh God." Yeah, I think what I'll do is maybe give her a perk. Hey, if we, for whatever percentage of my goals we get done next year, I'll give you a perk. That might be a better plan. For somebody listening last week probably thought, "Well, that's mean." <laughs> So that's what we'll do. So, okay. So I'll kick us off. Um, I think I had about 20 for this year. I don't remember what I had for last year, but I had about 20. Um, Start with your word. Do you have a word of the year? Oh, that's a really good question. Oh, let me think on that because I had okay. two words that I wanted to uh, kind of think about. So you, yeah, you go first. Okay. Okay. Well, my word of the year this year is actually, I went back and forth and back and forth. I had like five words and I couldn't decide. And then I had Adam on the, th- on the thesaurus or whatever that word is <laughs> trying to think of those. And then finally I was like, you know what? It's just results. Like I need results oh, this year. I've been yeah. working on some things over the last couple of years. I feel like the market is shifting. People's businesses are shifting. I need results in the businesses. I need results in my health. I need, re- like, I just need, this is That's the year of one. results. Oh, I love that. I love yeah. that. I'm uh, I'm big time focusing on results. And then with that, you will love, I chose my verse of the year is Matthew 541, which is when someone asks you to go one mile, go with them too, which was the one that Dan Kathy shared with us. So yes. in order to get the results, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm only like second mile this year. Like I'm just going the second mile on everything. Um, and I think too, I think just from having a kind of want want year last year, like I don't do good when I don't, when I'm not like winning or when I'm not seeing yeah. like progress and result. Yeah. you know what I mean? Like I need to, like, I need to win. Uh, so You're not, you don't do well in that no man's land. No, not at all. Launching is good. And the results are good. It's that not feeling like you're, you feel like you're kind of in the gray space and you don't really know if you're making progress or not. Yes. That, that 100%, that's it. I love launching, exciting, like building something. Woo. And then I like, like, woo. Okay. Now we're at the results with that whole middle part. <laughs> nope. Yeah. Yeah. Like so true. You need to stay at 30,000 feet. Yep. I know. So yeah. So results this year, just results in all aspects um, of my life. And then a couple of just quick things. We'll kind of go back and forth, but a couple of quick things. I do the 21 days of prayer and fasting every year. I'm so excited that Seacoast, our church in Charleston is actually doing it in person this year. So I start that on January 28th. And what is uh, that? I can't say it again. I missed it. It's the 21 days of prayer and fasting. I think oh, I might have yeah. seen guide before, but it's just every morning at 7 a.m. Um, you can, I used to have to watch it on TV because they didn't do it in person here, but now you can go to church at seven and it's all about just giving God the first of your year. Um, and it's like a different focused prayer of every 21 days. Like it might be your family. It might be your health. It might be your wealth. My, you know, it's like they, and they give you like the biblical prayers for those things. So it's really good. Awesome. Um, yeah. And then I don't know what I'm going to fast from yet. I haven't decided. So I stopped. Oh yeah. You give up something, one thing or whatever. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And awesome. last year, I think, no, year before last was the year I tried to do too much. I, I did sugar, alcohol, and spending like on frivolous. It was too much. I was like, okay, no, I got to do one thing at a time. <laughs> so which one of those was the hardest? Spending. <laughs> That's because funny. I couldn't do Amazon. I mean, oh. you know, because I'm terrible about like, I'll see something, even if it's like, like today, I saw these cool, clear shelves that I could put my books on, on Amazon. And I was like, by now, like just little, you know what I mean? Little stuff like that. And my thing was like, unless it was like food or a necessity, I didn't do it. So it was just, 
things you don't realize that aren't really necessities. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Little Ooh. things, not not like clothes and stuff like that. It was it was just easy stuff. I don't know that I'm used to doing. But so those are my big kind of spiritual ones. And then I used to be really good at waking up super early. And then I don't know. Again, over the last six months, I didn't. I was I would sleep till like seven fifteen or seven. Wow. So now I have a a five forty five at the latest up every single day. That's my that's my goal for this year. Um, and what then, time do you go to bed? What time do you go to bed? probably like 10 30. I think I just need to go to bed earlier. Yeah. Yeah. That probably helped. Yeah. I know. I've noticed up here in Montana, I'm sleeping in later and later, but, and it, it would be even later if I was home. So I'm like, what am I going to do? I'm getting this terrible habit uh, because yeah. I used to like when I ran marathons and stuff, I love that morning getting up at five and it's so quiet and still I went and, and used to, I had my trainer come earlier. I like that. I do kind of miss that because yeah. I feel like those are the quiet moments that you don't get back, you know, yeah. and um, I haven't done that in a while, especially up here in Montana. It's dark, like at five o'clock. And that's till- my problem when it's dark out that early. I'm like, oh my gosh. And I think also I, I just need to, cause I need more hours in the day this year to oh. really commit to like, I want to do hot yoga in the mornings. I want to do my walk. I want to do my Bible quiet. Like all that stuff is like three hours. So if I'm not up yeah. earlier it's I mean I can't you know it's I don't get to do it because then I start calls or zooms or whatever so I just need to get back to my get up earlier which is Adam gets up at like the crack so if I could just get up when he gets up it would be good <laughs> oh good well let me know how that goes <laughs> okay so one of the things that I talked about is I'm going to give these to Michelle but the first one I put down is create a library of books that have actually well my word of the day is in my word of the year is influence because oh, I love it yeah, one that was one of my probably my favorite choices because I want to influence so many people this year or when we get our program launched to believe that they were made for more. Love that uh, and help give them direction on how to do that. So I'm going to use the word influence. Um, I want to first thing I want to do is create a library of books that helped me um, and just kind of go back and reflect on who were the authors and what were the books that really made the biggest difference in me. So I uh, wrote that as number one. Um, I put improv last year and I didn't do it. And I asked myself, why did I not do improv last year? Cause my assistant told me she'd do it with me. And she even found the class for me. <laughs> I forgot you had improv on there. I saw that. Yeah. Yes. And she said, um, she even found it and it, we could have done it online or whatever, which I don't think that'd be that kind of fun, but maybe. And I realized, okay, what really was holding me back? And I think honestly, it might've been a little bit of fear. Oh, I bet I would be so, scared. Too. So I reworded it this year and said, put improv as a group or a team, because think about improv with Josh. Yeah. Oh God. Or Jimmy. <laughs> or Jimmy. I don't know if I can make Jimmy do it. I mean, he might, but, but I thought, okay, that's what's missing. I want a team of people to do it. I think that'd be a whole lot that's more. Fun. Okay. So I put it back yeah. on my list as number two to do improv with our regional team. All right. Love um, that. I put back on there again to do more preparation and more reflection. That's why I texted you earlier and said, isn't John's thing he prepares before he does something, he reflects on the back end. So I put that back on my list. Um, I feel I put, like that's an every year thing. Every year. And I'm and I'm not, I got to figure out a way to get better at it. So I got an idea, but I'm not going to share it with you yet. I'm going to see if it works. Um, take two amazing trips, one to Greece, one to Italy. Those are the ones that already have money put on them. So I know I'm going to Oh, good. Them. We're going to do that walk with Paul. Oh, uh, that's right. I forgot that's this year. So I'm so excited about that. Um, uh, Diane and I are looking for some cool classes to take together when Jimmy and Tony go fishing. So I'm going to look for some things that her and I would both love. We, I don't know if she's done hers yet, but I just did Colby over this holiday season. And that was fun. Yeah. The yeah, Colby we talked part. about that on the podcast. Um, yeah, so like you fun. guys did the um, Dr. Daniel Amen brain scan. That was one of the ones. It that was that cool. one the year before. There's one that's kind of out there that I want to do with my daughter, but I'm a little scared to do it. Is that Joe Dispenza? That kind of makes me nervous. What's that? Ooh, I don't know. It's like really in your head a lot. And it's like long days. And I don't know. Those just kind of freak me out a little bit. I'm thinking, do I really want to go that deep? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, so I also put create, uh, finish our create made for me, made for more program. We've got that all kicking off. Uh, do more trips with friends. We had uh, Rich and Adele up here this year. We came to your place. That was fun. So yes. just do more with couple friends. Um, 
And I put on here as a real big one I got to do this year is I got to find a territory taker, someone who loves recruiting in the region. So if you know yeah. of somebody that they okay. would love that, let me yeah. know, and figure out a great way to work with them. And then reread five books, not go necessarily pick up new books, but reread five books. Oh, that's a good one. Uh, hire a content manager. Um, do the, so you want to be a trainer class for. Yep. I'm kidding you people. Um, we get a chance to use somebody else's plane that used ours that'll go farther than ours. So I think I've picked London. So I want oh, to do my London. Age. Yes, I love London. So I want to do a trip to London with the, that plane. Um, Taylor Swift concert, that money's already paid. <laughs> so oh, God. God help us. Oh, that's right. Oh my gosh, Amelia, I've got to send you the video. I I have to like trim it down because we it was like really long. But I mean, she just like lost it. <laughs> oh, I'm I'm so excited. Our little girls are little and they're excited. Uh, and the and then Ellie's but Ellie is Ellie's. I was gonna say Ellie's probably really excited. excited. Yeah, she really is. I gotta we gotta figure out what we gotta wear. People say I know wear it's gotta be stuff. major. You're supposed to pick an era of hers and like dress accordingly to that. So, but for Christmas, my mom got Amelia, which was really cool, a like a hardback Taylor Swift book of all the outfits that she wore oh. in each era. Really cool. We could get some made. Yeah. I, know. I know. Look at that book. Okay. Let's put it on our uh, list. Yeah, I'll have to send and it to you. Oh, number 14. You have it? I'd want to see that. That'd be great. Um, number 14, I put do a video to self for one year, five year, 10 year, 20 year, 30 year, and 40 years. To so Adam, put that, Adam did that too for, um, from be your future self book or whatever. Yes. Like, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Uh, on the health, I want to get through B venom, cure the Lyme and Epstein Barr. be done with that. I think I'm so, so close, but that takes up a lot of my energy. I know. Are you ever going to Sting? I'm close. She says she thinks I'm really close. So I'm hoping when oh. I go home and do my next round of blood test, I will be approved. We will see. So you, next time you see me, I might be traveling with my little bag of bees. I cannot wait. To... <laughs> we'll oh gosh. And then uh, I resigned to quit thinking about running and just commit to walking because oh, that's big I try fun. to run, I'm too exhausted for days afterwards, still struggling a little bit with fatigue. But walking is just as good. And I got to mentally be okay with it. It's just as good. So I put walking three days a week in zone two. And he has given me my zone two from my VO2 max. Yeah. And I will do uh, 40 minutes of walking for at least three days a week on the zone two. So I put that down on my health. Um, so I, I think, though, Linda, I think you'll actually enjoy that. Because when I hurt my knee two, three years ago, really, I was never like a runner like you are a runner. But like I would run. I mean, I could run, you know what I mean? But, and I, <laughs> I couldn't, I, I, not know how to run. Run. <laughs> I know how to run, but, um, but I can't run at all now because of my knee, unless maybe I get that fixed with my big doctor thing this year. However, I did switch to walking and I walk almost every day and I love to walk. Do like, you listen to podcast or do you just take, see, I got to listen to something. I've been, that's where I picked up. There was a podcast. I liked some of it and I didn't like some of it. It's called wiser than me, where she interviews like 80 year old oh. women. That was kind of cool. But some of the women were not my like role model people. Yeah. So it was okay. And then I picked uh, happier in Hollywood just to get a, just to get something different that was, you know, not all about health or all about business. Oh, I haven't heard that. I'll have to look. I do. I listen to podcasts a lot um, or I listen to church sermons that I like that I don't like. That there's a couple that I like, like Daniel Floyd, I like and Chris Hodges. So I'll listen to theirs like since I don't go to those churches while I'm walking. Yeah, but I love it. I mean, I, I just, I love the walking and you can walk. I don't know. I mean, I feel like you're not like you, it's, if you look up, there's a lot of benefits to walking versus running. Oh, definitely. So I mentally think I'm over that hurdle. Uh, eat pure 9% of the time, organic meats, good oils, and organic oh. veggies. I'm really pretty good at that already because I've had to do it for this program. But I heard an idea the other day. There's a card you can download. Um, I don't know if it's called badseedoils.com or something, but he'll actually give you a card you can give the chefs that tells oh. them exactly the oils that you want them to use on anything that they cook for you. So wow. I'm probably going to go back to listen to that podcast and figure out what that is and carry that with me. Cause that's oh, yeah. the only thing I don't do good is if I go out to restaurants, I just take whatever oil they 
fix it. Yeah, there. you'll have to send me that if you find that. I just know avocado oil, it's like, this is so bad. But I mean, I do pretty good with that too. I had that on mine again this year to do 80% of the time only clean. And Adam and I really want to be intentional with it. And we got way better. Like we've been really good the last couple of years. Um, but we had hibachi in Florida. Uh -huh. When I tell you that uh -huh. it was it was three days ago and I'm still like not right. I yes. mean, I was so sick. Like I, Adam was like, are you okay? I was like, I don't think so. <laughs> oh. And, and the more you think I don't eat like that, like those oils. Oh my gosh. My stomach. I was like, I'm going to have to have emergency gallbladder surgery or something. <laughs> I mean, it was bad. So bad. Yeah. And I think the more you, like you said, the more you don't eat them, the worse they affect you when you do. Yeah. I've done the same thing, but you know, I do, they look at you like you got three heads, but you know, and one of the things I listened to a guy today to say, he said, pick restaurants that you know will work with you. You yeah. know what I mean? And, and, and continue to go to those restaurants. So I think that's, that's. Well, you know, I love what, um, I don't remember what episode it was of the millionaire real estate podcast. I guess it might've been the very first one where Jason interviewed Gary. And one of the things he said, I laughed when he said it, but I thought that's so good. He said, I don't, if you're committed to eating healthy, he said, if you have to go out, he said, I don't even look at the menu. He said, I just say, here's what I eat. So how can you make that? And oh. he's like, he said, I would never look at a menu and say, okay, I'll take this, but without or with or blah, blah, blah. He said, I would just say, I eat salmon with no oils. I eat broccoli, just grilled and you know, whatever, oh. can you, I'll pay whatever, but can you just make me that, you know? And he was like, oh. I don't even look at the menu. And I was like, gosh, that's kind of smart. Yeah, that's a good idea. That's kind of what this guy I listened to today, Dr. Lee, L-I. I think his name is Dr. William Lee. He's very interesting. He believes that you should do something like Mediterranean. Mediterranean, mm -hmm. he kind of mixed it together. Mm -hmm. that not just Mediterranean, but Mediterranean and Asian, which I love Asian food. Mediterranean, I can, I like some of it, but, you know, just kind of mix those two together and you're going to be yeah. pretty safe. So I'm going to start listening to a little bit more of him. But yeah, that's a great idea to do. I think you just have to, you just have to, to resign to, I don't want to feel like crap. So I'm not going yeah. to just order off this menu. Yep. So true. I'm here, I'm here for the conversation in the, in the community, not really for the food. Yep. Okay. So I'll go ahead and give the rest of mine. Then you can give yours. Um, okay. Find more ways to support the Salvation Army, which I am. They are going to do a big beneficiary uh, dinner at my house in February. So that's kind of oh, exciting. Cool. So that'll be on February 15th. Uh, all their donors will come to my house and we'll have a big dinner. So that's kind of fun. Oh my gosh, Linda, that is so fun. Exciting. I mean, it's funny how when you just put it out there, opportunities just start showing up. Yes, I love that. That's a great idea. Yep. And so just finding little ways to do it. Like even like when I taught Quantum Leap in Indianapolis, I invited the Salvation Army guy to come talk to our group. And he talked about smart. the boat drive and things like that. So just keeping them top of mind. Yeah. You know, that whenever you're teaching or doing something, can I just bring them in and let them talk for a few minutes about what they need? And then I, I told that. them about, I told them about Red Day that they should contact all the team leaders because on yeah. Red Day, maybe they have a project that the team leaders and that all, our offices could help them with. So I think just keeping it top of mind. Um, I actually have been pretty intrigued. I want to read some spiritual books about uh, the Holy Spirit. So oh, if you yeah hear of any know of any i feel like the holy spirit is kind of one of those things that is a companion and a helper that we don't use a, enough right yep. we yep. don't we don't pay attention to it we don't listen for it uh we don't understand the power of it so i want to read some more books about the holy spirit and then i, think I might have one or two that i've read that were really i'll go look through my list see if you have them That'd yeah be well, great. I can think of one it's just i can't think of the name of it and then uh, I've already bought the tickets for Press and I to go to the Daryl Eves, which he is the guy that wrote the 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 Passion the what did what did he write? What's the the Passion of Christ? Wait, what is that? What are you doing? He's a the vi big video guy that teaches yeah. people how to do videos. He wrote the book. I forgot what his book. His book is around here somewhere. Something video, but he has a video con in Dallas every year. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so I bought te Press and I tickets to go to that, uh, and then. I want a, us to reach out and get two amazing, at least two amazing guests for our podcast that are like yep. kind of untouchables like Dr. Henry Cloud was. And yeah. so we'll put yeah, Batterson absolutely. back on there and try again to see if we can reach out to him. Yeah. Uh, okay. So that's what I have. Love it. Awesome. Okay. Um, I just had, let's see, I'll just pick a couple more with going with the podcast. I had, we need to get to a million downloads this year where we, we passed half a million, um, 
slash end of year before beginning of last year, end of end of maybe year before. I can't remember the date, but um, we're close. So thank you guys for listening and sharing and downloading. But I definitely a million is is a game changer. And then figuring out um, really having being able to promote some people and have some sponsors and stuff this year for the podcast. So if you know somebody and or you're interested in that, please reach out to us. Yes. Uh, Cause that's one of the things that I'm working on and Heather's helping with that uh, too. So podcast, definitely that. And then I still have one in-person event on there. I just think it would be so fun. So we're, I'm going to keep that on ours. Um, I had, we gave experiences for Christmas this year to the kids, but we always like, we're, we're just like switching a lot of our family stuff. We have the last couple of years to experiences. So for Christmas, we gave Addison a million of the Taylor Swift tickets. And then Addison, we um, gave him tennis tournament tickets to Indian Wells. So in March, we're going to the Indian Wells tennis tournament, which is a big one. And then we'll do us open in New York. Um, We love going to college football games. So I had go to two college football games this year. And then a million, I had our, which you definitely need. Ellie and let's do it together next year but we started our first annual New York City Christmas trip and it was I mean we just had the best time yeah it looked so fun you met you inspired it me with Ellie we I mean we did everything like for two full days I mean we were we started at like nine in the morning and we to get home at like 11 that night but I mean it was it was packed so we definitely want to do that again next year um the kids have never done this so this is going to be our year but we're going to do a mission trip this year to Dominican Republic with some of our friends who have a foundation there so I'm really excited about that oh that'd be great and I haven't been on a mission trip in probably five or six years um and I used to do several so I'm really excited for them to just experience that and for us to be able to do that together so that'll be a good one and then um I had goals for the market centers uh I need talent, same thing, (laughs) trying to find some talent for some roles and then to stay top three in the region um, and profit and all of those sorts of things. John Maxwell trips, um, Adam and I are actually doing an event at John's house in February that, yeah, that he invited. um, It's like, I told Adam he got in, hopefully he won't listen to this. I don't know where he is. He got in because of me, because he did, um, it's like 25 under 40 uh, high impact leaders or something like that. Yeah. 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 It's going to be really good. So we're doing that. And then I had one to two additional round tables with John and then get, we'll do exchange, which is it in Austin this year or did I make that up? Yes, it is. Okay. That's cool. Yeah. That'll be really good. Yeah. Press already got some places he wants them to pick. (laughs) Oh yeah. Gosh. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of good stuff there. That'll be really good. Um, the be your future self now book by Ben Hardy has just been so impactful to me. I mean, it's just been so good. So I had, I want to hold a book club on that this year. Um, I did one two years ago on chase the lion. I think I probably had 60 people that did it the whole way through. It was great. And I think that's the one I want to do this year. Last one I have is a huge one. I have been spending a lot of time with Tyler creating content. And so I am going to be, this is my year of intentionality with content. So we are filming, um, I'm filming with him like every other month we're creating, I have committed to do a post every single day for the year awesome. on Instagram and um, increase to 10,000 followers to get my engagement to 15% and be a good case study for him to go out and launch like his stuff with that. Yep. But the thing that he told me is you can't just post every day. You have to post something that's valuable. So we've really been working on that a lot. We filmed for like an entire day in Charleston before Christmas, and we're doing it again in Kentucky, the end of January. So I have really big goals around that because I thought, okay, there's just no better way. I just, oh my gosh, I'm going to tell you this. I just read the new thousand watt research on recruiting. They came out and influencing. I'm going to send this to you. I'll send this to you. And um, they said that people are re- are not responding to text anymore. They're responding to DMs first, like direct messages on Instagram. So if you're like trying to influence, you know, slash reach out to people to get them to learn more about your business or whatever, they're more likely to respond to a direct message than they are for you to text or call them. Oh, wow. Okay. I'll have to remember that. 
Yeah. So it just, I mean, there's so much, so much value that can be done. And then I love, I had a new quote. This is my last one. And I put it on my vision board because I thought it was so good. And you'll love this. It says, true competitors are not trying to beat someone else. They're trying to be the best that they can be. And the byproduct is beating others. Mm, love Isn't that it. good? That is good. I love that. So yeah. And then I have a bunch of other like little ones, but those are kind of my main ones. Oh, I did have, I do want to find a way to honor my dad in the recovery space. I'm really thinking on oh, this. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. I'm not sure yet. It hasn't come to me yet, um, but I, I will at some point this year. I'll, I'm gonna you know, I heard the best thing on recovery, which I'd never really thought about before. Actually, uh, alcohol addiction or drug addiction, any kind of addiction is actually to that person, a solution. You yeah. know what I mean? Yep. It solves a problem. And if you listen to Jelly Roll's song. Oh, uh, oh, yeah. Save me. Yes. Yeah. I mean, if you listen to the way he talks about it, you know, how it solves a problem for him, it really helps you understand it so much better. Yeah. You so know, true. Uh, I just finished a book called, um, Bound- it's not called Boundaries. It's called um, Codependent No More. My girlfriend that I run with was telling me about it. So I re- read it real quick while I was up here. But it talks about that. It it tells she it tells so many stories in there. People and I've been guilty of this myself with my alcoholic mother and just you know trying to make them stop. You know all. But really, what you're really doing is being a codependent, right? You just constantly. Okay. But yep. anyway, it was a really good book because it kind of talks about how to just let go. It's kind of in the same lane of not my monkey, not my circus. You know, yeah, you yeah. Can control what you can control. Yeah. But it's actually working counterintuitive to what you even think you're doing when you think you're, you know, helping yeah. someone. Anyway, it was very, very good. But I thought that was very interesting that um, Joe Polish does a lot in the recovery area. Oh, really? He, I didn't know that. He was an addict. Uh, matter of fact, we bought this p- big painting that had all these famous people on them, I guess, that had had, had addictions. But wow. um, he talks about it a lot, that it actually is a solution to yeah. those people for a problem that they have. But anyway, very interesting. Yeah. Most of the time it's like, it's deep, like deep rooted depression and they don't know like what that is or how to fix it. So it's, you know, they, that, that is the solution. Yeah. They talk about that in like Alan, Alan on or whatever the family classes are of AA. I can't remember what it's called, but something like that. It's Alan on. Yeah. 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 That's good. Yeah. That'd be, if I think of a great idea, I'll share that with you. Yes. Start thinking on that. Yes. Yes. All right. So remember, if you have not hit the subscribe button, please go ahead and do that. Now, the greatest compliment you can give us is to pass this podcast along to anyone that you know, that would enjoy these conversations this coming year. And if you have a topic, a subject, a opportunity, a challenge, or a person that you think would be good on the podcast, be sure and reach out to us at info at everything life and real estate. And Dana, I guess I'll see you next week. Yes. And one more thing before we go, um, our next episode that will air after this will be us actually doing a year in review with Pam, our friend Bornhorst. So yep. we'll st- with the theme of, of like you're closing out your years. Um, so we'll do that live with her, which I think will be pretty cool. Yeah. And we have great 10 great questions that Gary Keller always asks too. We'll have to cover that sometime too. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. Okay. I'll see you next time. Be sure to subscribe for more business strategies and tactics to inspire you to live an abundant real estate life. Don't forget to rate and review so we can bring you the best content. Find this and other valuable information at everythinglifeandrealestate.com. Thank you.